Dr. Vitals, please. Subject's vitals are displaying all normal. Don't mess this one up, Caden. Maria, brain activity? He's stable. Connection showing low latency. Good. We're set. Caden, remember, all we need for this run is 30 seconds. We'll try to get you out as soon as we can. Come on, let's do this. Remember, Caden, it's not real. Okay. 10, 9, 8. You just returned home from work. 7. The party that your girlfriend six, is over. Do you still hear music? 5. It's coming from the bedroom. Loading memory sequence 404. sequence. His psyche's dipping. Only a few more seconds. Okay. Initiate recovery protocol. Ready. Okay, let me just shut down the memory reconstruction command. Are you ready to- The recovery protocol's already initiated. We can't rest on such a small victory. Maria and Michelle, take the rest of the day off. I'll stay here and prep for tomorrow. Good work. I mean, yeah, but I feel like for the first time in my life, I'm making a difference, you know? Although I'm not exactly sure how much longer we can keep it going. Is it the funds? Is that tight, huh? Yep. Our investors are wanting a working unit by this weekend, but we just need more time. Weekend. Today's, so y'all only have a couple days. Yep. There's this conference with investors and engineers and we're presenting there on Saturday. So the next few days are pretty important, huh? If we fail to produce the NeuroHelm by this weekend, they'll cut all the funding for the lab. Not to mention, they'll probably never clear any project for us ever again. But we have a working unit. We just need to convince people that it's safe. So the next few days are important, huh? Yep. There's a lot riding on this next test. We're gonna be stress testing the extremes so the AI of the NeuroHelm kind of knows the boundaries in which it can operate in. Sounds complicated. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. So we're gonna be stretching Caden's psyche to its limit um, so that the machine can kind of safely operate within that limit, if that makes sense. Did that guy for me that we can never call you back? Maria, let him in. Thank you, Maria. I'm sorry. Uh, I believe we're unfamiliar. Wow. So this is where you made it, huh? Amazing. Adam, um, what can I help you with? I'm here to buy you out. Well, I mean, I'm here to purchase the patent for your machine. Maria's telling me about some of the things you guys got going on here. I think it's quite impressive. I think you'll find the amount in there quite ridiculous. 
Is this some kind of joke? You have that little faith in your machine? You? In your lab? It's not about my faith. You... I would need to speak with my partner. Keep it. Consider the offer some more. I hear you have a big day tomorrow. I think it's best I go now. You have a good day. Everything okay? I have a question for you. How far would you go to see this project reach its full potential? Why? Why are you asking me this? Just answer. I will do anything to have the neural helm reach its full potential. Well, I know a guy. He's not free. He has a price. Who? Maria, is there something you're not telling me? Just think about it. What? Maria? All right, big shot. Sure you want to go through with this? You can still back out if you want to. No, no one will think any less of you. Oh, let's do this. All right, all right, let's begin. Vitals? Vitals are displaying all normal. Brain activity? Maria? Normal and stable. Brain connection showing low latency. Everything's coming up promising. Caden. Remember, 120 seconds is all we need for this stress test. Okay? 10. You just returned nine, home from work. 8. 7. The party that your girlfriend six, is over. 5. Are you still hear music? Loading. Memory sequence 0013. Begin the emergency protocol. He is spiking on all levels over No. Here. He needs 30 more seconds. He can do 30 more seconds. He told us he could do it. Joseph, it's too dangerous. Maria, how's his brain activity? He can make it. Okay. Okay, I'll trust you. Stand by to initiate the emergency recovery protocol. 
He stays in. Made some tea, if you want any. Okay, just right there for you. You know, Maria, if you want to go home and get some rest, I mean, I I don't mind staying here a few more hours until Joseph can get over and take. No. Him. I must be here when he wakes up. Are you sure? I mean. I don't know when he's gonna wake up. Do you want to stay up that long? I have to. You wouldn't understand. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm gonna head home and get some rest. Um, I'll be here first thing tomorrow. That was really scary earlier. You were amazing. Where would you like me to begin? The start. I have all night. Well, if you can get up, I'd like to take you somewhere. Are you positive? You want to meet him right now? I'll be fine. You better be right about this guy, Maria. I am. And he always gets what he wants. Always. We'll see about that. He's in there, huh? I'm not going with you. You're gonna have to go on your own. Don't go anywhere. Kaden. Be careful. Adam is dangerous. He has connections all over. I'll handle him. Sure you want to do that? 
You know you can't do that, right? Look, I know you want the neural hell, but you will never have it. Are you trying to convince me or are you trying to convince yourself? Kaden, you're a bright kid. You're smart. Please, come sit, relax. Can somebody get something to be fucked with, all right? Now tell me now, what do you want? Everything. I want everything. Look. What is it that you desire most in this world? I know you have plenty of money. No. You're thinking too small. What do you truly want in this world? I want to change the world. Bingo. You want to change the world? Perfect. And how do you plan about doing that, Gaden? I'm right here. I'm right here, right in front of you. Let's work together. What's the cost? I want to be your sole partner. Just you and me. Think of it as small price to pay to change the world. Look, Joseph had no problem with being partners. Maybe I should go give him a call. What do you want about? I paid the doctor a visit yesterday. He had no problem with being partners with him. Oh shit. You don't have to believe me. The proof is on his desk. Why me? Why me over him? It's obvious, isn't it? Kaden, I didn't expect you to swing by this late. I'm just trying to brainstorm solutions for tomorrow. What are we gonna do? Well, we can go full bore, risk letting the machine hurt someone tomorrow as small of a chance as that is. Or we can do a short 30 second memory. Leave it at that. Hey, Joseph, what would you do to change the world? I guess it depends. Me personally, um, I'd give just about anything. You'd give up anything. Sure. I mean, wouldn't you? You don't want to see the lab flourish? What if it meant going alone? No. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather be penniless like I am now and do this with you guys than try and go at all of this alone. Caden, look, we need to stick together, okay? We can't let anything or anyone tear us apart. Look, the only reason that we've made it this far is because we're a team, okay? That's... That's 
great to hear. I guess we really are gonna be homeless. No, 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 no. Come on, we make plans. That's what we do. Let me show you what I've been working on. First though, I was making some coffee. You want some? No, I'm good. Okay, I'll be right back. What you think? Any ideas stick out to you? No, none really. Hey, I'm actually gonna go home and work in my office. You know, we tend to work better when we're alone. Right. Good point. <clears throat> Luckily, we'll have tomorrow morning to keep working on things. Let me know if you have any ideas, okay? Uh, Kaden. Whatever happens tomorrow, just know that we couldn't have done this without you. I'll see ya. Good night, Caden.